Yo, yo, yo. First and foremost, I want to make two apologies. First apology is I'm really out of practice in terms of commentary and this will probably be awful. So please bear with me. I will hopefully get back in the swing of things, get things ticking over nicely the way they used to. Um, not that I was ever that good, but at least I could talk a lot. You know what I mean? I never shut my mouth. Um, the second thing I want to apologize is I was intent on uploading a video yesterday, which would have been this video and whatever commentary it would have been. But then a whole pile of shit happened, which we will get onto in a, in a minute or two. The first thing that I actually want to talk about, the first proper topic I'm talking about here, um, insofar as it's a topic, is grown man gaming. Um, now, if you follow, if you're a sub on my other channel, or, or this channel, because this will probably go up on both channels, because um, I have two channels. Wow, wow, what a big deal. Um, but yes, I have two channels, and Big Bud, Booty Daddy Mike, and Is There Any Sense, this will go up on both channels. So, Aaron and I did a video, actually it was a series of videos, it was four videos in it together, um, back before Christmas, talking about uh, a new project that he has coming up, Grown Man Gaming, which was... It's a massive, massive opportunity for the guy. It's basically a podcast, but there's a YouTube channel associated with it and a Twitter account associated with it. And this is an actual legitimate uh, rapper that has given Aaron this chance because he got tight with him. I mean, he was a big fan of his. Aaron was a big fan of his, the, the rapper, dude, the Bad Seed, um, whose Twitter is Nicholas Cage. Um, Aaron was a big fan of his for a while, hit him up about using some of his music and the guy actually replied to him and let him use some of his music in the in some of his videos and then things went from there. Aaron uh, managed to get talking to him and the dude has offered him this sort of podcasting because through uh, getting to know Aaron and the YouTube game he's realised that there is a massive, massive uh, demographic on YouTube. I mean millions of people watch gaming videos so that's a big, big advertising thing you know and this guy isn't just a rapper like he has a massive sort of media thing going on like where he thought he has a lot of different people working on on this sixth uh sixth man radio where they do a lot of different kind of shows and podcasts and that kind of stuff and Aaron has gotten himself involved in this and is starting this podcast now yours truly misha um is is going to be on the first show on thursday night when i know more i will put links on twitter and shit like that for it um and I don't know how regularly I'm going to be on it. Aaron has asked me to be uh, like a, a guest on it. So I don't know whether I'm going to be on it all the time or not. Uh, it's Aaron and Chase Money are the two main presenters of the show. And I think they're going to try and have at least one person with them every every night that they're doing it. Uh, I think it's going to be once or maybe twice a week. I'm not entirely sure. Probably just once a week to start with and to see how, how it goes. But like I said, they're going to try and have somebody with them all the time. Because then if you have three people on the show and one person has to back out, You've still got two people and you've still got a conversation and you've still got a show. Whereas if you only have two people and one person drops out, then you have one person talking to himself and it's basically a commentary. Okay? So that's why they're trying to get three people at all times. Now, I'm going on Aaron's side as, as a guest of Aaron's. Chase is bringing in somebody. We're all getting into a call tonight just to, to sort out details and, and stuff. But as far as I know, it's going to be around about midnight UK time. So between 7 and 8 uh, in Eastern time. And you guys can work that out for Central and Pacific. Um, but yeah, right. Anyway, that's that's enough. Links will be in the description. Please check it out. You guys know that Aaron is a, uh, he's a stand-up dude. You know, he's always supported me from, from the very start, from, from way back. And it's not because of my gameplays, because my gameplays suck. It's because of my commentary. And for the guy to have gotten this opportunity, I'm so pleased for him. And for him to have offered me the opportunity, I am very, very honored and, and, and very happy about that. But to move on, the reason I didn't get this video done yesterday was um, I, w I had the, the video rendered, uh, the commentary not done, but I had the video rendered and ready to do the commentary. And then I, I was just checking my emails, waiting for the whole process to just to, to take over. It was like 95% waiting for it just to, to get that last little push. Giggity. Uh, I don't even know. Was that a giggity? That wasn't really a giggity, was it? No, it wasn't. Uh, whatever. But I was waiting for the, the video to just be ready so that I could do the commentary, just get into it, balls deep. Let's get it going. I mean, I uploaded videos, what, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday last week, or, or Thursday and Friday last week, I don't know. But I want to get back into this, because I did say last week that this actually feels good to be back behind the mic or in front of the mic. Are you behind the mic or in front of the mic? Behind the screen in front of the mic? I don't know. But it feels good to be doing this again, because, well, I've had a lot of shit going on. I mean, you guys know that. I'm not going to go over that again, because I do feel like a whiny bitch a lot of the time. 
constantly saying you know what's been going on and what's why i feel like shit all the time and, and it, it's you know it's annoying i don't know if it's annoying for you guys but it, it it feels like it should be annoying to you guys which means you know that i'm not doing things right at all but besides, so really right yeah besides the point um yeah so i was waiting for the video to, to finish rendering and stuff so that i could do this commentary yesterday and I, I checked, like I said, I checked my emails and there was an email from BT, who is my service provider or phone provider, um, saying, because I, I, after after Daddy died and I started paying all the bills and taking over all that shit, I, I changed it to direct debit and so I don't get uh, an actual paper bill coming through every quarter. I just get an email to say your bill is now available online. So I went online, I, I checked the bill, I, I clicked the link to go and check the bill, signed in, blah, blah, blah. And, and it came up saying that it was, uh, it, usually it's like 120 quid for the three months, which is 40 quid a month, fair enough, that'll do, whatever, right? Um, it, which actually turns out is quite expensive. But it was okay, because that's what we were paying, but this bill was 154 pound, 153 pound, uh, which meant, you know, 30 quid, where did that 30 quid come out of? So I thought, fuck this and i went and i checked through it i you know itemized bill and all that stuff so there was one phone call worth a tenner which was to down south so i technically counted as an international phone call so that was fine take that out that means it's 20 quid here somewhere random that i'm not entirely happy about right so i rang them to complain or not to complain really but to find out what was going on you know why that was why it was there what it was blah 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 blah, blah, blah right so I rang them, and anyway, I found out eventually that the last contract that I had with BT started last February, and it ends this Friday. And basically, I was getting the broadband was costing me twenty five pound a month, and then everything else was added on to that. Now the broadband was being discounted from twenty five pound a month. I was getting a seven pound a month discount to get it down to eighteen pound. So I was like, okay, right, that's fine. And the guy said, send us your contracts due for renewal on Friday. Do you want me to put you on the new package? I'll get you another discount again, so you'll be back paying your 40 pound a month instead of 47 pound a month and i was like well yeah let's do that then let's just carry on and as soon as i got off the phone call i thought do you know what that, that that sounds like i could maybe i probably should check around so what i did was i went and i found this other and apparently they've they've been the award-winning service provider in the uk for the last two or three years they call they're called Plusnet. and when i went and i checked them their line rental was slightly cheaper it was like 150 cheaper than bt but the broadband i was paying now bear in mind uh, uh, broadband was 18 quid with uh, and that's unlimited unlimited usage uh that was 18 quid with bt with Plusnet, it was 9.99 but if you sign up in the next three days you get it for 50 percent off for the first 12 months so that turns out to be 4.99 which is a saving of 14 pounds or 13 pounds massive saving and then the calls we were getting anytime calls which was costing 15 quid with bt but with Plusnet, it was four pound which is a saving of 11 so that means i was going to save 23 pound 24 pound something like that a month by switching to Plusnet. so i said right i tell you what the, the the guy with bt said that the contract wouldn't start until midnight sort of last night so basically today, the fifth of February. So I I was I got onto the phone to Plusnet and I was saying to them and they said, Right, we'll we'll take care of everything. We'll we'll inform BT that you're leaving them. All we need for you to do is get a Mac key, which is your migration authorization code key. Um and I said, Right, well it should be fine because it says the the, the the contract doesn't start until tomorrow, so fine. So I rang BT, BT said, No, you only had until the end of the phone call and you were advised of this, that you only had to the end of the phone call to make your decision and you chose to stay with us so your contract has already started so we can't give it to you so i'm pissed i've been trying to sort that out and that's why i didn't get this video up yesterday listen stay tuned i love you all peace love and puppies